Krigler Naja is first discovered by Dr. Krigler and Dr. Naja in 1952. It is first recognized in six infants of three couples who were blood relative. Ten years later, Dr. Arias reported a milder version type 2. Kegler Naja is rare in her type disorder affecting the metabolism of bilirubin from the breakdown of him in red blood cells. There are two types of Kegler Naja which is type 1 that is more severe and type 2 which is less severe than type 1. Kegler Naja syndrome is a very rare disorder. For type 1, it occur 1 in 1 million population. For type 2, it occur 1 in 750,000 population. Male and female are equally affected. There is high incidence of occurrence in Amish and Mennonite communities. The main cause for krieger naja syndrome to be manifested is the mutation of chromosome 2. Thus, the mutated UGT1A1 gene cannot produce uridine diphosphate glucuronosyl transferase 1, causing the inability of unconjugated bilirubin to be converted into conjugated bilirubin. Bilirubin excretion in normal individual. Him from the breakdown of RBC is converted to bilirubin in plasma and bounded to albumin in the form of unconjugated bilirubin. This bilirubin is taken up into the liver and transformed into conjugated bilirubin by ugt one n one enzyme before being eliminated. Bilirubin excretion in Krigler Naja individual. The bonded bilirubin from heme degradation will form unconjugated bilirubin, but the deficiency of the enzyme will cause the inability to convert the unconjugated bilirubin. Thus, it will accumulate and cause neurotoxicity and hyperbilirubinemia in the individual. The hallmark finding is a persistent yellowing of the skin or jaundice which usually occur after birth. Besides jaundice, connectoras may also occur when a high bilirubin passes through blood-brain barrier, lastly muscle spasm. It will affect the head and heels of the baby. The baby also may suck and nurse weakly and experience high pitch cry. For type 1, first bilirubin test. The measured unconjugated bilirubin is more than 20 mg per deciliter. Second, phenobarbital inducer effect. Show no response towards phenobarbital inducer. Third, liver histology. Show normal liver histology. For type 2, first bilirubin test. The measured unconjugated bilirubin is less than 20 mg per deciliter. Second, phenobarbital inducer effect. Show reduction in bilirubin with phenobarbital. Third, liver histology. Show normal liver histology. Further tests included total bilirubin, conjugated and unconjugated bilirubin, and enzyme assay. The damage seen as in Krigler Najar individuals can lead to opistotenus, which is a spasm of head and heels and spasticity which is involuntary muscle movement. Beside that, many episodes of chronic terrace can cause life-threatening brain damage. In conclusion, this syndrome is a rare inherited disorder characterized by inability to convert and clear bilirubin in the body due to altered UGT1A1 gene. The affected individuals cannot convert unconjugated bilirubin to the conjugated form because of deficiency of UGT1A1 liver enzyme that is required to break down the bilirubin.
you know what you gain some knowledge today thank, thank you, you for watching, watching.